Okay, so I'm up to doing some of the decals onto the car body and um, I've got a new decal sheet here because I did previously try this and uh, the decal sheet just broke up apart. These these sort of pieces here just broke into a thousand uh, pieces. It, looked, it was like the, uh, the clear, the film they put over it actually hadn't um, properly sealed in the decals so they just fell apart. So I did write to um, Polar Lights and they were fairly quick in responding and got me a new sheet uh, sent out here to Australia, which is very good. Uh, I think that worries me a little bit is this looks to be exactly the same as the original one, so I'm not sure it's going to be any better. Uh, before I actually go ahead and try and use some of these ones that I'm going to need on the model, I'm going to use this little Penguin logo because um, this is actually an optional you know, logo you could put on the car. There was one episode with the Penguin hijacked the Batmobile and put his own logo on it so uh, I'm not going to be using that in my kit but I thought I might cut that one out and just uh, put it in some water and see if it actually works or whether it starts to fall apart like the other decal sheet did and if that happens I'm going to have to uh, come up with a plan B so um, we'll give it a go and see what happens Alright guys, so I'll try and zoom in a bit here for you. Unfortunately the replacement decals I got from round two are exactly the same, which is to say they're crap. I'm quite angry about this because I should not have to be dealing with this in a kit in 2017. Um, it's just not good enough. It just isn't good enough. Now I've got these soaking quite a bit more because I want to emphasize this to you, but I, this was happening even, before, even when I had them just out uh, on a bit of paper. Can you see there, that's actually the foot of the penguin. And you can see it's broken away there completely. I have not had decals do that, ever. Um, I don't, I've never had a kit in 40 odd years of this hobby which have broken apart like that. Uh, you know, if these decals were really old, I would kind of expect it. But on a brand new kit, just not good enough. Especially on a kit like the Batmobile that has so many decals that you need to put on the kit. Look at them. I mean, there's a ton of them. And to have a brand new kit with decals that fall apart like that, and this is a replacement set, don't forget. This is not the original set. This is a replacement that I got from uh, Polar Lights. This really, really sucks. So Polar Lights, if you happen to watch this video, this just isn't good enough. I wouldn't buy another one of your kits if this is the quality of the decals that I can expect to find with it. Now I'm building a kit that is very, very heavy on decals. Uh, I need them to be high quality. I need them to be really easy to work with because they've got to go around a lot of compound curves. So to have decals that just fall apart because they've got some water on them, this is even before I even try and put them on a model, is just not good enough, guys. It's just not good enough. You really need to do better than that. So very disappointed and I'm going to put this video up just on its own because I think it needs to be said. And I think people who are looking to buy this kit need to be forewarned that there are going to be problems with it. So yeah, very disappointed. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next one.